Hey guys, I have some very important breaking news for you and it has to do with the this car actually the Tesla Model S Plaid Edition. It's been long rumored and Tesla finally announced all of the specifications and I'm gonna actually configure it online for you right here on tesla.com show you all how much it costs all the mind-boggling performance numbers they're basically targeting the Plaid version of the Model S to be the quickest car of any product any production car in a straight line but also uh, around the track. So let's get going. So here on the site, you can see some of the specs for the currently available Tesla Model S sedan. Yes, it's a luxury sedan, performance sedan. Here are some of the numbers that are currently available. This is not the Plaid number. 2.3 seconds, zero to 60, 402 miles of range. But then we can now select order now and pre-order a Plaid version of the car. Booyah! Check out these numbers. 520 plus miles of estimated range, 200 miles per hour top speed, under 2 seconds, 0 to 60. So if you thought, you know, that 2.3 second 0 to 60 was way too slow, well now you can accelerate even quicker, even in this big sedan. And of course, there's some competition going on. Uh, recently, this car was announced, made its world debut. This is the Lucid Air. And look at some of these specs for this all-electric sedan that will be competing against the Model S. 1,080 horsepower, 517 miles of estimated range, 9.9 second quarter mile, 2.5 second acceleration, 0 to 60 miles per hour. Well, as you can see, the Tesla, it's basically taking those specs and one-upping it, basically. All these specs are a little bit better than the Lucid Air. The Lucid Air also is quite expensive car when it will be um, on sale in a few months. Um, it approach, could approach around 175,000 bucks for certain configurations of this high performance electric sedan. So, well, the price on the Plaid version of the Model S starts at 139,990 bucks, basically 140 grand. And as you can see, something new, it's a tri-motor all-wheel drive system. You might be used to a dual motor design all-wheel drive. A long range plus model starts around 75 grand, performance model around 95 grand. Of course, you you know, you get all the performance, but then you have to step up in price in a very big way. But this price is still competitive if you consider where the Lucid Air car is. So let's move on a little bit to some of the other configurations. There's five colors available on the Plaid edition car white, black, there's silver, blue, and red. Uh, red is the most expensive color. Well, that's why they call it resale red, $2,500 for the red color. I'm gonna choose blue, because I like the blue color a little bit more. Two uh, different wheels are available, 19 inch Tempest and 21 inch uh, Sonic Carbon Twin Turbine wheel. But after all of the real world testing that we've done here at TFL Car, uh, we know that a smaller diameter wheel is a little bit lighter, of course, and it's better for performance, a little bit better for comfort in a car like a Tesla Model Y that we've owned and own, and of course, the Tesla Model 3. So I'm going to leave it as a 19-inch wheel, which is the smallest wheel diameter available and should enable the maximum range and also the quickest kind of performance numbers as well. So let's keep going a little bit more. Um, here's the interior options really quick. There's black, there's black and white with white leather, and there's also, of course, wood trim. Uh, wood trim I actually kind of like a little bit more, and it costs about 1500 bucks for the oak wood decor, so I'm going to leave it like this. And I promised, um, I said that they're targeting um, the fastest around track, uh, actually a performance car that not just goes in a straight line, but also can go around corners. They're actually after this car. This is a new McLaren Senna, basically a racing car, exotic car for the street. And of course, it's an ultra expensive machine as well. Starting price is estimated at around a million bucks for this particular model. And there are very limited numbers of this car. Obviously, that's why it's also this expensive. This car can go around Laguna Seca. It currently holds the record for a production car at around one minute, 27.6 seconds. Uh, Tesla, during their battery day announcement this week, said that the Model S Plaid went around the same track, Laguna Seca, 
in one minute, 30.3 seconds. So within almost two and a half seconds of that McLaren Senna. And they said, with some tweaking, this car can match that time and maybe even be the fastest car around that track, targeting that, of course, very hyper car territory. So finally, of course, Teslas um, are about also autonomy and autopilot, the way that Tesla defines it is it enables your car to steer, accelerate and brake automatically for other vehicles and pedestrians within its lane. And this is basically mostly talking about kind of a highway usage case. Of course, this is not full autonomy where you can just go to sleep, uh, you know, fold your steering wheel away and have the car drive itself all the time everywhere. Um, then there's self-driving capability, which enables a few more things like navigation, auto lane change, auto park, summon, traffic light and stop sign uh, detection and control. Um, and of course, auto steer in the cities is still an $8,000 option. But Tesla, the way they defined it also this week at the battery day, um, they value autonomy. I mean, they're working very closely on this. They said they've rewrote a lot of the software that enables the car to drive in an autonomous mode. They're trying to improve it way higher where it's been even now. And of course they value that. That's why um, they think people value it. That's why the price is actually quite steep in my opinion, about eight grand. But if you think about it, if you can save time, if you get, get in your car and allow it to safely drive itself for a long period of time, that's actually time that you can be doing something else. Uh, maybe preparing for your work meeting or resting or doing something else. So yes, um, the final price on the car like this would be around 151,000 bucks. So yes, it's a very expensive car, but it's offering these crazy performance numbers. It's been long rumored and the styling of it hasn't changed much as if you can tell, uh, if we go back right here, um, they haven't really, you know, modified the styling of it. Which type of battery does it have? Um, we don't know exactly. They haven't specified it, but they specified 1100 horsepower plus quarter mile in under nine seconds. So if you saw those lucid air numbers, Lucidair was very precise that 9.9 .9 second quarter mile is insanely fast already, but Tesla is saying nine second or less in a quarter mile is possible in this plaid version of the Model S. Yes, uh, quite exciting. Uh, we have other videos on TFL Now channel. Uh, we have a live show showing uh, some of the other battery day announcements that Tesla has made. They have announced several different technology improvements that they're targeting over the next decade, about 10 years from now. And they're saying that within the next about three years, within the next three years, they have um, they could build a $25,000, very compelling, they said, electric car for 25 grand because of all of the improvements in the battery technology and the structure of the car. They were able to um, actually make it a little cheaper, but also uh, modify all of the including you know raw material development and battery cell development and structure they were able to take all of that and actually make the battery cost cheaper but still increase performance and driving range which which is you know kind of a win-win-win so but that's not going to happen tomorrow uh, their battery day technologies will be keep improving they also said that the Cybertruck um, plant in Texas in Austin Texas is still being built still being developed um, obviously it's a work in progress they said up to about 250,000 of these trucks could be produced per year but not immediately of course uh, they didn't say that the date is moving uh, the date is still late 2021 for availability of this truck and they also said that the cyber truck will be initially only for united states or north america based because of regulations and the size of the truck and the weight and all the other categories that this will be us only or maybe North America only truck. The rest of the world would, may have to wait longer for a slightly smaller truck, that's what Elon said. So guys, go back to tflcar.com for all the latest news views and real world reviews and breaking news like this.